Hi, and welcome to Rapid Application Note number 18001. Today we're going to cover uh, changing the station field in a driver using a string tag. So right now I've set up two text displays uh, with text data links tied one to a tag called temperature, another one to a tag called pressure. Uh, I created uh, or inserted a main driver sheet in my Modbus TCP driver. If you need uh, help inserting a driver worksheet, take a look at the training videos. Um, but in this driver worksheet, I just have those two tags and tied directly to um, the IP address, port 502 uh, and, and station one um, or node number one. And I've got the uh, IP address of my uh, computer here, uh, which is 192.168.1.19 um, hard-coded in this station field. And I'm going to show you how to make that flexible and changeable. Uh, so first let's um, make sure that I have, a, I have a simulator running here. In fact, I'm going to close it and restart it uh, only because uh, I want it to start out at some low recognizable numbers here. So this thing increments every three or four seconds or so. So you can see it's at one, two, three. Uh, I'm going to put this always on top, but I'm going to move it off screen. Now, when I run this project, uh, I want to show you that it's actually uh, communicating to that um, driver sheet. Actually, I have it communicating to another driver uh, off screen here uh, that I set up before, and uh, I didn't stop my project and rerun and save those changes and rerun. Uh, so when I do that, you can see it, it takes over here. So what I'm going to do is manually, uh, I, I want to change this to uh, port 41. But rather than doing that manually, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this or cut this and insert a string tag. And I'm just going to label this as PALC0 inside of curly brackets. Now these are not the square brackets, not parentheses. They're what's called braces or set braces. I call them curly brackets. When I do this, it's going to prompt me to create a new tag. I'm going to say yes. And this is really important. This needs to be a string type tag. Um, once I do that, in this case, I'm going to uh, copy. Uh, let's, no, let's not do that because I will lose that. And then what I'm going to do is go over here in the startup script and define now in the VB script, I need to precede a tag with a dollar sign. I'm going to do PLC zero equals, and then in quotes, I'm going to put that uh, string, that full IP address with the port number and the node number in there so I can define that at startup. I'm going to save that. Now I can go through here and copy this, paste it into here and say yes and now that will uh, uh, allow that to work at startup and let's see here bring this in here you can see that that's communicating just fine and pull this off screen now let's add a way to change that now this could be done on another screen behind a password uh, in this case i'm just going to put a text box on the screen and allow this to be uh, changed that tag plc0 and again that has to be a string tag and uh, you could do all kinds of things about automatically adding the port number and stuff like that via scripting uh, but in this case i'm just going to do a straightforward and and, uh, and again this could be with security this could be on another page so right now i'm pointing to uh, this address here which is on my local laptop I've got another simulator running on another computer which is address 41 and when I hit enter you're gonna see that that IP address changes there it's uh, definitely 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 a good idea especially when you're doing this to uh, use the read and write status fields to make sure that you actually have communication so that's rapid application note number 18001 so thanks for your time